right. I had the huge pleasure of sitting down with the boys here at the temple where they spent time as novice monks. We arranged this interview with the Thai government, working alongside child psychologists, because, of course, everyone here is looking out for their well-being. It's been two months to the day since they went into that cave, and, boy, have they been on a journey. It was a drama the whole world watched unfold. Now, in an exclusive interview, the team has come together to describe their harrowing ordeal. Twelve boys and their soccer coach stuck inside a flooded Thai cave for 17 days. The Herculean effort to get them out and their miracle rescue. Behind me, they are the flashing lights. That is the police escort waiting for the last ambulance. Now, in an exclusive interview, they're describing it in their own words. Sawadee ka? <laughs> is life back to normal again? 11-year-old Titan says, I feel the love, I feel warm. 25-year-old Coach Ek describing the moment he realised they were trapped inside the cave with no way out. And you thought, I'm stuck, I need to find a way to get everyone out, and you had some rope, what was your plan? I volunteered to dive to see if I can go through and save everyone. I let T, Adun and Knight hold the rope and I said, if I don't tug, it's safe to come through. But if I tug twice, it's dangerous and I'm coming back. When I realised we were stuck inside the cave, I didn't tell them because I didn't want to panic them. And so he turned to meditation. I'm used to prayer. I've done it every night of my life. And so I asked that they'd have a peaceful night and a deep sleep. The 13 surviving on water dripping from stalactites in the cave, his idea. The boys say on the fourth day they began digging with rocks they found inside. Then, week after nine days missing, a surprise in the darkness. How many of you? 13? Brilliant. Where you, the British divers came and you could hear them in the water. Who went down to the water first? Adun. I was in shock, says Adun. I thought that one day they must come. We were waiting and hoping every day. But a fun moment of misunderstanding. Who was translating? I asked Adun and Biu to translate, but no one was because they were so surprised. So I was shouting, please, someone translate. And then bonding with their rescuers. Who played a game with the Navy SEALs? <laughs> All everyone played games. Using soil and stones to play checkers. And who beat the Navy SEAL? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> lost. <laughs> and finally, the rescue itself. It was a funny story about how you decided who would go first. We all decided that the boys who lived farthest from the cave would go first, so they had time to bike home and tell their parents they were safe. We really had no idea there'd be so many people outside. But of course, young boys need a break. Do you want some crisps or some sweets? One-on-one, <laughs> on one, Adun opens up. You do speak very good English. And what, what do you want to do in the future? Play a guitar and play football. Play guitar and play football. And now some are even Instagram stars. How many followers do you have? Ninety-eight thousand. <laughs> Ninety-eight thousand. Yes. Ninety-eight thousand followers. This guy. Wow. It is just wonderful to see them so healthy and happy. And during their time as novice monks, the boys told us they learned about the meaning of love. And one even told us he learned how to be punctual for the first time. So, of course, we had a good laugh about that. And they still come here to the temple every day to visit the coach, who is now a full-time monk here. I love the smile on your face as well, James. Did the boys understand that for about 12 days here, they're the most famous little boys in the world? It was definitely a shock, George, when they came out. But Adun told me he gets the sense people around the world really see them as their own kids and want them to be safe. They're thankful to everyone, from the Thai king down to the most junior of the volunteers. There is definitely a feeling that they are certainly feeling the love.